This is a bad idea, guys. <laughs> I can't perform under pressure. <laughs> Hello everybody, my name is Ryan Owens, I'm uh, part of Shog Theater Troupe and I've had the, op uh, the honor of playing Frank Behrens in Remember the Light, as well as being able to compose the majority of the score. My musical background is I've been taking piano for a, a very long time, um, you know, I've, I've been classically, classically trained. Um, as a, as a pianist, but I've never really done any, um, any music production, any, anything like this. I've never done anything like this. You know, as far as composing a score for a movie, you know, with, with instruments I wouldn't usually use, you know, it's been, it's been something really, really different and uh, exciting, so. Um, but yeah, my, my background is pretty much just taking lessons every week and, and messing around in my room, so. Yeah, so the creative process was was a lot of um, you know brainstorming uh, at the at the keyboard in my room and with with Alex Webster, who was my my music buddy, assistant, whatever you want to call him. Um, we came up with a lot of great ideas together. You know, we <laughs> were using GarageBand for this entire movie because with GarageBand, it's um, and we have everything we need, you know, to make the score for the movie. Uh, it's it's definitely it's not anything to sneeze at, but it's what we have. It's free, and it's great. You know, it, it has it has the tools that we need to, to be able to make the score great. Um, but just you know, two guys, two brains doing whatever they can to make an entire score for an hour long movie. It's it's been really tough with uh, with just one keyboard and just one computer. I would, I would play, I would hash it out, I would get mad, I would sit on the couch, I would think about it, <laughs> and. Um, and that was, I mean, that was pretty much it. It's, me, it's just me and Alex uh, putting our heads together, thinking about what the movie means, and um, you know what what each individual scene is trying to portray, and just watching that and just kind of feeling everything out. Susie's theme is is uh, supposed to be uh, very uplifting. Uh, but also a little bit mysterious at the same time. It portrays, you know, Susie's, Susie's a very upbeat and lively character. And so we tried to portray that in the music, but also, um, you know, a little bit of, of mystery uh, with, with the certain scene that Susie's theme uh, really accompanies in the movie, so. Well, <laughs> One really came after the other, so we filmed everything for, for, for the movie you know, within a month and a half or so, and I was done being Frankie Behrens, and then it was back to being Ryan Owens, you know, at, at, the, at the keys again. But, you know, it's just been a really busy few months, busy, busy half year, you know, and, and it was sort of like a, a 180 from acting and like straight into straight into music, and then there was also like you know graduating high school and everything as well, and uh, you know so that that also took a toll. I'd say that was the hardest part actually. That was more difficult than balancing acting and music is, is balancing school and music. You know it was definitely a test, a test of my time management and my uh, you know my 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 willpower to to get this thing done. So. <laughs> uh, Mount, I, not not sponsored, not sponsored. Mountain Dew Kickstart. You know, it's a really good, um, really good brain brain wake up. Uh, you can feel it in your veins. You can really feel the hundreds of grams of sugar you know, coursing through your body. It's not true, by the way. It's only like eighty. But, uh, what was the, what was the question, Josh? <laughs> Oh, the essentials, okay. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Um, really, I'd say the things I couldn't have done it uh, without, like the things I, I, I needed to make this score were, were a, a great keyboard with a lot of great sounds and a lot of versatility to it, um, and Alex Webster, really. Uh, 
I mean, he's he's been he's been an ace because you know I, I'm not a great piano player. I just know I know music theory, right? I I know I know about the piano, and Alex is like the technical whiz, and you know I couldn't have done anything um, without Alex because you know I had I'd done whatever I I could to learn by myself using GarageBand and stuff. But Alex comes in here and he's showing me all this stuff, like making it sound like actual music. Um, <laughs> Cause you know when I play it, it sounds it sounds good, but then when you put it in GarageBand, you know something happens to it, and then Alex is like, I can fix that, I can fix that, and so I, you know I couldn't really have done it without him. And yeah, I mean this this keyboard and, and my own my own mind and like a clear head, I mean, those those are my those are my essentials really, and and Mountain Dew Kickstart. So I I made I made Susie's theme uh, late at night. Uh, in my room one night I thought it was a, I thought it was a good little melody it's not complicated at all it's it's very simple but I thought it really um, captured the element that we were going for um, like the whole of the distorted piano and everything I, I thought it was great and it was a great idea and it was the first thing we ever recorded um, uh, for the score and um, yeah I guess that, I guess that's all I have I love being able to just say crap like that and just know that it doesn't even matter and it's going to get edited out. It's great. So I'm used to um, making like, like making like pop beats, you know, alone by myself, just you know, for for my own enjoyment. Um, that's what I that's what I love to do, and making music for a score has been entirely different. I've, I've, I've come at it from a whole new angle and I'm like, okay, so in, instead of just playing what, what, I, what, I, what I feel, you know, what goes on in my own head, I've got I've to look at the movie and what it's saying and write something, um, you know, that I didn't, you know, the, the meaning didn't come from me, it came from, uh, you know, the writer of the movie, Austin Scarborough. And so, uh, you know, I have to, it's, it's just very different, it's a very different uh, element, you know, um, and it, it also involves a lot of different uh, techniques, like, uh, like, like time stamping, having to worry about, you know, how exactly music is going to fit into certain places, whereas when you're doing things on your own, it just kind of, kind of flows, but, you know, it's been, it's been really, it's been a huge learning experience, and I'm very thankful uh, for the opportunity to get to do something like this. I hope to do it again. You know, this is something that, I, that I'm definitely uh, looking into doing for, for a long time and I really enjoyed it. And so um, I can't wait to you know, uh, get, a, get a bigger team, uh, get, get a lot of minds working on projects uh, like Remember the Light again. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to learn more about Remember the Light, you can search RememberTheLightMovie.com. And if you want to watch the trailer for this movie, it's on this page's YouTube channel. Stay tuned. We hope you enjoy the film.